These are the drums of Shelley Mann. They'll play a very important part tonight in the debut of the most ambitious musical composition ever attempted on Stars of Jazz. And this is Mark Murphy, a young man whom we think will soon be a very important singer in the world of jazz. Now I got a little rhythm, a rhythm, a rhythm, it passes through my brain. So I'm persistent, the day isn't distant when it will drive me insane. Comes in the morning without any warning and hangs around all day. I'll have to sneak up to it someday and speak up to it. I hope it listens when I say, fascinate rhythm, you got me on the go. Fascinate rhythm, I'm all the quiver. What a mess you're making, the neighbors want to know. I'm always shaking just like a sliver. Each morning I wake up with the sun, start hopping, never stopping. Find that night no work has been done. I know that once didn't matter, but now you do it wrong when you start to batter. I'm so unhappy. Won't you take a day off, run along, go in the country and make it snappy? Oh, how I long to be the man I used to be. Fascinating rhythm, or won't you stop picking on me? Yes, fascinating rhythm, you got me on the go. Fascinating rhythm, I'm all a quiver. What a mess you're making. The neighbors want to know why I'm always shaking just like a fever. Each morning I wake up for the sun. To find at night no work has been done. I know that once this man, but now you're doing wrong when you start to patter. I'm so unhappy. Won't you take a day off, run along, go in the country and make it snappy? Oh, how I long to be the man I used to be. Fascinating rhythm. Fascinating rhythm. Fascinating rhythm. I won't stop picking on me. This is Mark Murphy and George and Ira Gershwin's fascinating rhythm. Well, there's probably nobody around jazz these days who's more fascinated with rhythm than Mr. Shelley Mann. Shelley's solid sense of time has sparked big bands, including the Stan Kenton aggregation and small groups as well. But lately it's been Shelley's contention that a drummer can become overly fascinated with rhythm. Solo work is too often based on wild technique and flashy calisthenics rather than the warmth of a melodic approach. That word melodic, incidentally, probably sounds kind of out of place in the discussion of drumming. Most of us think of a drum as about the last instrument to be concerned with the melody. But such is the case with Shelley Mann. This Man, man is very definitely of the opinion that a drummer should make his solo's compositions rather than displays of technique. And toward that end, Shelley actually tunes his drums. How do you go about tuning your drums, Shelley? Well, Bobby, I just try to get both heads equal here so I get a constant sound and tone from the drum. And uh, with no dissonance or distortion in the sound, a clear sound. And I always tune by intervals if I can. Usually in thirds. I see. Sometimes in TV with the lights, it's difficult to tune. That's why I'm always messing around with my little drum key. Oh, I, <laughs> I know sometimes you press down on the head. Is that uh, well? If it's if the drum is in tune for me, uh -huh. the glissando I get will be very pronounced. So this is quite a quite an all-star group you have with us tonight. I, I think maybe we might have time to introduce some of the, the fellows in this great aggregation you have here. Well, I'd like to. We'll start with the bass man, Monty Budwig. I might add, this is what we call a West Coast jazz group, Bobby. Monty is from Pender, Nebraska. Uh -huh. And on piano, we have Russ Freeman, who's from Chicago, Illinois. And on alto saxophone, we have Charlie Mariano, who's from Boston, Massachusetts. And on trumpet, we have Stu Williamson, who's from Brattleboro, Vermont. And you can probably tell by the way I talk that I'm from <laughs> Texas. <laughs> this is really, truly a West Coast aggregation. The, the timpani you actually tune, don't you, Shelley? Well, uh, I you, you have no timpani here, of course, like but, but, but in timpani, the, the timpanis are actually tuned. Well, of course, timpani are tuned to definite uh -huh. notes, and I just tune to try to get perfect intervals all the time so I can maintain my intervals, whether it's damp or dry. The intervals remain constant. I'd like to talk here all night about the drums. Well, why don't we go to your next number? This is kind of an ambitious work, as I told you earlier in the program, and it's to be performed by the man organization, and I think it's kind of a real tour de force for Shelley's approach to drumming. It's a four-part suite written by 
the very talented Mr. Bill Holman, and it's called Quartet. The four sections correspond broadly to the classical sonata form, but the work is very definitely a thing of jazz. Traditional blues form the basis for the first part, and the work develops from there. Here then, part one through four, Mr. Bill Holman's Quartet.
Amen Quartet performing a very exciting quartet. A real home composition from the contemporary album Shelley Mann and His Men, Volume 5. Earlier tonight, you heard a young male vocalist about whom a lot of people in jazz are currently saying wonderful things. Now we'd like you to meet him. His name is Mark, and mark our words when we predict that before very long he's going to be thought of as one of our finest of male jazz singers. New York born, Mark discovered jazz by way of an Art Tatum record back in 1949. Jazz discovered him when Sammy Davis Jr. heard Mark sing in an after hours club near Syracuse University. Sammy introduced him to Stan Kenton and Mark find himself very much admired but unhired. His next important meeting was with Mrs. Charlie Spivak who encouraged Mark to continue singing and above all to do so in New York City. So to get to the story of the two-year process that was his history in Manhattan, we'll now call on the young man himself, ladies and gentlemen, meet Mark Murphy. Mark, how are you? Hi, Bobby. It's wonderful to be here. Tell us what happened those two years from the time Mrs. Charlie Spivak told you to come to New York and your current DECA recording contract. Well, let's see if I can remember. Uh, my brother was in New York. He introduced me to uh, uh, Mrs. Elsie Kirk, the mother of Lisa Kirk, who introduced me to her niece, Polly McGarrow, who introduced me to a vocal coach named Jory Livingston, who introduced me to a publicist, who introduced me to Tony Scott, who introduced me to my managers, who introduced me to Decca Records. That's a lot of names. <laughs> I, I let the few out. I, I couldn't remember them all. Well, tell me, I, I first heard you on an album about uh, eight or nine months ago. You did a song, and this jockey out here played it, uh, a Jimmy McHugh composition called Exactly Like You. I think it's Jimmy McHugh and Dorothy Fields. Yeah. And it was a very, well, what album was that now? That's the first one. This one that's on the board here. Uh-huh. Meet Mark Meet Murphy. Mark Murphy. Uh -huh. And how about your current album, Mark? That should be out in April. And uh, that also has some wonderful... Uh, What's this going to be called? Meet Mark Murphy again? <laughs> no. This is called uh, Let Yourself Go. Let Yourself Go. What are some of the tunes? Of course, Let Yourself Go, the uh -huh. Irving Berlin tune. And then Pick Yourself Up and uh, Elmer's Tune and The Lady in Red and a little thing that Steve Allen uh, found for me called the Taint No Sin to Take Off Your Skin and Dance Around in Your Bones. We're going to go out and buy that album because it's as exciting as the first one. So I'm sure it's going to be something. Well, we'll hope. Mark, thank you very much for being in the program. Just thank wanted you, to let Mark. you go way down there and get ready for your next number. Let's listen now to Mr. Mark Murphy, his wonderful singing and a very exciting song by Johnny Mercer and Harold Arlen. Some years ago, this is Blues in the Night. my 
word that old mockingbird will sing the saddest saddest kind of song he knows things are But there is one thing I know A woman the two face to worry something To leave you to sing the blues in the night oh, my mama was right I got the blues 